guys i'm back for another video and today we're going to be filming my kind of like go-to all to make look using some products that i've been loving at the moment and yeah it's just good to be back i hope you guys have been loving all the halloween shorts honestly i appreciate all the love and welcome to all the new subscribers because the channel's been growing thanks to shorts which is insane insane because i never thought i'd see the day of 170k subscribers but we reached 170k which is insane now youtube's been hard you guys know i've been saying it in the past few videos like i feel like everyone's been experiencing a slowdown on youtube unless like you're part of the lucky ones i know a lot of you guys still like the long form makeup content so here i am i'm just gonna sit down and chat to you guys and let's just put on some makeup do you like to get the hair out the way it's so weird i've got no bangs like my bang is like full-on long i have been loving the by ellie brow texture gel it's just really really nice to like do your brows. I don't stick my eyebrows straight up. I just feel like it looks, a, it can look a little scary sometimes. So I kind of just, I just like when you see like the brow hairs and the texture of it. And this is exactly what this pen does. I kind of like comb it in the direction of my brows, but just lifting them a little bit, you know? So yeah, I just leave them like that, honestly. You can tell I use this stuff. This is the uh, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. It just does the job. Obviously, I always put my moisturizer and SPF, but don't forget to put SPF, guys. Even though summer's gone, you still need your SPF. But yeah, I just really like this primer. It hydrates my skin. We obviously need our color corrector. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Color Corrector in the shade Mango. I'm just gonna blend that all out. I don't know, I've just got a bunch of scarring and hyperpigmentation around my mouth, so just gone back to color correcting more frequently for foundation i'm going to use the by mario cereal skin foundation in the shade 15 and i'm gonna dot this kind of all over and just blend this all out with a brush my hair's being annoying what the hell guys look how beautiful this is blending my tan from my holiday didn't last that long honestly it just it was there for a minute and then it just disappeared then some by mario concealer just a little bit this one's in the shade 280 and i'm just gonna use a brush to blend that out Look at that base. That base is so nice. What the hell? Then we're going to use some powder. Obviously, my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm just going to lightly tap some on under my eyes. Oh my god, I recently discovered the HMB press powder in the, and I, I use the shade light. It's like to take a dense, fluffy brush. I know it sounds contradictory, but it's like a dense brush, but fluffy on the end. And I take some of that powder, tap off the excess. I just like to press that under my eye and it just gives like this really bright under eye. So I recently finished one of my favorite bronzers, which is the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. I also sometimes use Island Ting. I don't know what it is. So I was kind of forced to like, kind of, you know, use something else every day. And I reached out for my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This one's in the shade three. It's their airbrush bronzer. I don't know why I stopped using this. It's starting to get a dent, so I'm glad I'm making use out of it. Obviously, your girl tries a lot of makeup, and sometimes it's really hard to, you know, get through them. But yeah, I'm glad I'm loving this one. So I'm just gonna grab some of that and just bronze up the skin. I think it's time for me to put this brush away because it's like shedding like crazy. This is the MAC 135 brush. It's like perfect for bronzer but it just blends like so nicely and the shade is like really nice for me bit on the jaw my non-existent jaw and then i just literally like to take it on the sides of my nose Okay, then for blusher, it's very, very hard to choose, okay? But I recently got this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. This one's the snake one. Every year, I feel like they do these edits. It's so beautiful, but I have been obsessed with this shade. And I just take this and, like, put it on my cheek. 
I've been using this like crazy ever since I got it. It's the Fenty Beauty Shadow Stick in Come and Get It. And it's just this shadow stick and you just literally just, I literally just put this all over guys and blend it with my finger. It's really not hard to use. And I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line as well. But it just creates this really nice matte lid. It doesn't crease and it's just like perfect for every day or if you're just, you're not really an eyeshadow person but you just want something to put all over your lid and for it to look really nice. It's just so easy to use. Sometimes I wear this to work, even if I'm just like going out for dinner. It's just easy. That's what we want, easy. And don't crease. I got, my like, lids crease like crazy. Your girl's getting fine lines. I also have been loving the Tattoo Studio Smoky um, Gel, what is this? Smoky Gel Pencil. This one's in the shade Smoky Black. And then I just like to put a little bit on the outer corner and just take a little brush and like blend it like smudge it you can totally skip this step but you don't need anything fancy it literally stays in place and it's drugstore and i kind of just pull it ever so slightly you're just gonna have to be patient and like just take your time to smudge it out and the further you get out the less pressure you're gonna put then i'm just gonna curl my lashes yesterday i did absolutely nothing i did a bit of like cleaning because every weekend we like to like reset the flat and just make sure it's all clean and ready for the following week so that didn't take too long because the week before we already did like a deep clean but um we did a bit of cleaning and then we just spent me and hobby just spent the whole day watching dubai i think it's called dubai bling on netflix we literally spent the whole day we did absolutely nothing it was just so nice to do nothing. I have been loving the Fenty Beauty uh, Hella Thick Mascara. Now the only thing with this is because I have like really long lower lashes, it kind of like it smudges a little bit on my lower, my under eyes, which sucks, but everything else about it, I love. Like I just can't stop using it. Usually my setting spray will do the trick, but I just have to be careful like with my lower lash line because it, it will smudge a little bit look at the difference fenty that was just one coat i don't even need a second coat because i sleep on my left side most of the time i find my left eyebrow and my left lashes are just all messed up it's all messed up they piss me off like every day like gravity is all already there but they like to go even more towards the ground for some reason like my eyebrows stick downwards these lashes don't even want to go up wow it's just so pretty i was going to put lashes but i don't need them i'm not going to put lashes but you can put sometimes i like to put three quarter length lashes that's very very pretty Wait, what are we doing on lips oh guys i'm going to show you this new lip combo that i found chef's kiss okay so morphe bite me Sometimes I like to drag the lip liner out a little bit. Like I just go whoop, but you know, very ever so slightly and it creates like a upward, you know, flick to my lip. Sometimes I've got a resting bitch face like crazy and this fakes a smile so that when I'm resting my face, I don't look like I'm frowning as hell. Cause my lips go like upside down, it's so annoying. So can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? Like, I'm not doing anything. And it's just like, a little bit, you know? I recently discovered this and I am obsessed. Obsessed to obsess. It's these Hourglass Glossy Balms. They've been like viral like crazy. This one's in the shade Mist. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a gloss in a lipstick form. Guys, watch this. Don't tell me, don't tell me it's not the prettiest combo ever. Then we're gonna take some, oh, just casual lash, just took an hour, we'll take it off. Oh, some more there, okay. Uh, we're gonna take some Beauty Crop uh, Glow Milk Mist and just set our face. So for brows, I've really been liking the Revlon Colorstay Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Black. It's just very precise. 
has a lot of sparse bits here. So as I was saying, we really like Dubai Bling. It's super addictive and also married at first sight. Okay, this is the finished look. I'm obsessed. Okay, this could be my everyday look. This could be, depending on my mood, it could be anything. Like, it could be my go-to dinner look. It could be my running errands look. Honestly, it could be any look you want. You could, like, make it less dramatic if you take out the coal pencil that I put out on my lid. I am obsessed. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup tutorial. It actually felt really good to film this video for you guys. And how the hell is it already October? Like, it's almost 2024. I felt like Christmas was like like yesterday, the last Christmas. And they already have the Christmas decorations out. Like, oh my God, I feel like time is flying by. I don't know about you guys. So, but anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. Make sure to give it a like and comment below. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.